Former Green Party MP Dr Elizabeth Kerikeri has gone out swinging from her political career, taking aim at the co-leaders and her colleagues. Kerikeri resigned after she was accused of being a bully. and She sat down with political reporter Amelia Wade to tell her side of the story. Elizabeth Kerikeri is going out in a blaze of purple and glory. Put the record straight um, from my point of view. She fell out with her Green colleagues after that infamous text to the group chat during one of Chloe Swarbrick's speeches. OMG, what a crybaby. Was the text about Chloe? No. I sent that message, I thought to my wife, and then I looked at it again and I thought, ugh. And I said to myself, stop being a crybaby. The Greens co-leaders have said they do not buy this. Calling us liars is absolutely ridiculous. After the message mess up, Kitty Kitty was labelled a mean girl by anonymous staffers. Are you a bully? No, definitely not a bully. An employment process was kicked off, but Kitty Kitty quit before it got underway. If there was behaviour that I was doing uh, that was upsetting somebody, then they should have been brought to my attention. But News Hub's been told before the bullying allegations there was a mediator already working with Kitty Kitty. She says that was because she broke COVID lockdown rules. It wasn't a mediation, it was a facilitation. So it was just a way to have a conversation with us and the co-leader. Right, so that implies there was a relationship breakdown there, that mm. you weren't able to communicate. Mm. Which co-leader? That was with Marama. That relationship clearly got worse over Crybaby Gate. None of them have reached out to me. The co-leaders never sat down and talked to me to ask what happened and none of my former colleagues have contacted me since. But we wish her well today for her valedictory. Colleagues who mostly weren't there to see her out. Amelia Wade, News Hub.